Hello everyone. So in this MCQ, you are given these two statements and you are asked that which of these statement are correct statement. So you are given these four options and first option says that only first statement is correct. Then second says only second statement is correct or both A and B that is both these statements are correct or none of the above. So I will start the timer and you can pause the video and you can read these statements and you can find the answer. So the correct answer for this question is option B. So that means only this statement is correct, but this statement is not correct. So let's see this statement in our ID. So here you can see I have written the same statement in A equal to B equal to zero. And then I want to print the value of A and B. Okay. So let's compile this. So you can see we are getting the error B undeclared. And when do we get this error? So we get this error when B is not associated with any data type. So compiler is saying that I do not know the data type of B, right? So if you do int B before that, that means you are now defining the B variable. And then you want to initialize this A and B using zero value. Now let's see what is the answer. So now here you can see you are not getting any compile time error and you are getting answer as 0, 0. That means A and B both are getting initialized with 0. So here you have to see that int B is defining the variable B and here B is getting initialized with 0. Here int A is saying that I am defining a variable A and at the same time I am initializing it with 0 value. So now this statement will work if we have int B written. Now second statement is obvious. This is just defining a character variable A using the 65 value. Now why this second statement is correct? That is char A equal to 65. So A is a character variable. That means it can store a character. But 65 is an integer value. But then also we are saying that this statement is correct. So let's see first this into our IDE. So here you can see I have written char A equal to 65. And then I am printing the character A using percentile C. So let's see what is the output. So here you can see I am getting capital A. That means I am not getting any compile time error. I am getting some output. And let's say if I write here 66, then see what is the output. So see now I am getting capital B. So why I am not getting any compile time error and I am getting these answers. So it is because this character A variable is here and 65 is getting stored inside A. Now as we said, a can store a character variable. So actually, so actually inside this A, your 65 will be stored. And if you want to print using the percentile C, okay, then the corresponding character with this 65 will be printed. So you know the concept of a sky value. Each and every character inside C language has a unique integer value associated with it, which is called a sky value. So for example, your capital A has a sky value 65, capital B has a sky value 66 and so on. So if you are writing care A equal to 65, that means this statement is correct. Why? Because internally inside the character variable, only integer value that is a sky value is actually getting stored. So if you directly write 65 also, then also this is correct. And if you print this using percentile C, then character format with respect to your 65 that is A will be printed and if you store here 66 then this percentile C will give you capital B and after this if you print the answer of this A using percentile D then you will simply get 65 or if it is here 66 then you will get 66 only right. So this character and the integer value that is a sky value they are like interchangeable to each other okay. So you can print the integer values or the character value for a particular character variable. So that's why only option B is correct. So I hope you have understood the explanation. So if you have any comment query, please write down into the comment box and please do not forget to like this video. So now let's move to the next question.